Hey everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to create Plutchik's Wheel of Emotions. Now, Plutchik's Wheel of Emotions was created by a psychologist, Robert Plutchik. He uh, basically created this to illustrate you know, different emotions in a compelling and a detailed way. As you can see here, it's quite elaborate. It has these eight petals. Now you might ask why bother creating this in PowerPoint? Why not just copy this image into whatever presentation you have? Now there are a couple of issues with that. Number one, the image, the image that I picked up from Wikipedia is not that high resolution. So the words aren't that clear. On top of that, there are a couple of these places where it's hard to read what the text says. The second uh, aspect is if you wanted to edit any of these colors or the text, uh, let's say you wanted to change the font of this text, you cannot do that with the image. So it's basically to give you a flexibility to edit this uh, wheel in PowerPoint as you see fit. Uh, that's That's why I would create this in PowerPoint to give you that finer control over this. So let's uh, get to creating this. First thing, I will need to copy this image into PowerPoint. So I have that here. We will be using that as a reference and we will be creating different shapes on top of that. So while I do that, I don't want this image to get in the way. Uh, of creating these different shapes. So what I'm going to do is take this image and put that in the slide master of this uh, template uh, just so that I can lock this image in the background and create shapes on top of that. So let's do that. Once I have that, let's close the slide master and let's get to it. So first thing I will need to create uh, different circles. So let's create this larger circle like so. Then uh, let's do another circle, which will be the this inner smaller circle. Or even before before we do that, let's, uh, let's add transparency to the circle so that we can see how uh, our circle is aligned to, to the actual image. Let's adjust this a bit. There we go. Let's create another circle for this uh, inner circle that we have. Let's give it some another color so that we can see them nicely like so. Put that in the center. Adjust the shape so that it fits nicely on top of this inner circle that we have. Now let's create the third circle, which is this innermost circle that we have. Same thing, I've copied this one of the circles and reduced the size. Let's change the color to green. It can be anything, it doesn't matter. Once we have that, we have this inner part of this Plutchik's wheel in place. Now we can start creating the petals. So it's pretty simple. What we need to do is uh, take this larger circle, make that slightly bigger and try to align with this curvature of this petal. Let's adjust that a bit. Once we have that, we are going to copy the same circle. Let's change the color of that so that we can see it nicely. Once we have that in place, we are going to copy that circle. Let's copy that circle and put this like so. Now you can probably see where we are going with this. Once we, we have all these basic shapes in place, what we need to do is uh, go to format. And here you see this uh, little icon here that shows like two circles intersecting go there and choose the option fragment so once we clicked on fragment what it has done is wherever 
these different shapes have intersected each other it has just broken them down uh, you know at that point so as you can see when i separate out all these outside shapes what i have left is the petal part okay as you can see we have the petal just exactly uh, in the shape we wanted but we are not quite there yet as you can see the bottom portion of the petal is not exactly curved it's it's more like a slice of a pie so it's two of its sides are straight and not curved so we have to fix that now the way we do that is uh, pretty straightforward what we need to do is select that shape right click and click on edit points then click on one of right click on one of the side edges and click on straight edge like so let's do that on the other side and we are almost there for the petal portion as you can see the inner portion is now straight and it's matching to the petal that we are trying to create now what's left is duplicate the shape or all these eight petals the way i would do that is i would first select all these shapes for a petal group them so that when we move them they move together as one so let's do that now just one more thing we uh, can do before we copy paste all of these petals is let's enable the borders so that we can see if uh, our petals are aligning nicely with those uh, circles otherwise you know you might copy all these petals only to realize that uh, a bunch of them aren't aligned right i think i have that done so now let's group this together and paste it on another slide now the next part is coloring this as per the original colors so i'm going to copy the original image and now instead of having it in the background i'm just going to put it to the side now let's ungroup all our shapes so that we can individually color them now if you have the latest version of powerpoint coloring this is going to be really quick because we have the eyedropper tool but if you are on an older version of powerpoint this can be a really time consuming process so let's fast forward so that you don't have to watch me do this one by one now the final stage of this is just finishing it up with adding these two circles these dotted circles so i'm just going to copy these three circles from the previous slides and paste it on top of this image like so so i'm just going to select them and select no fill and then choose the border as dotted line so the last step would be adding the text i'm going to do that think there we have it i have provided a link to download this in the description so feel free to download it and use it as you see fit that's it for this video if you like this video please like if you disliked it you know what to do see you next time